Hi beautiful, welcome back to my channel. I thought I would do somewhat a catch up, get ready with me and I'm currently using the Kmart lighting that I purchased last week and I also did a mini review slash unboxing on this light so if you want to see that make sure you subscribe to my channel and it will be either up before this video or after this video but for this video today I wanted to test out the lighting as well as do a little bit of like a catch up get ready with me since I have not really filmed the video so today I'm not gonna tell you how I would normally apply makeup we're just gonna go put on makeup talk about stuff so yeah without further ado let's hop right into the video I've already applied moisturizer and my brows to save time so I'm going to just quickly spritz some MAC Fix Plus on my face to have a little bit of hydration. I wanted to revisit the Heaps of Sweets palette from Shan XO. I've only used this twice once in a video and a second time off camera where I really wanted to try this eyeshadow palette so this is what it looks like it's so pretty it's so girly personally I'm more of like a cool tone bronzy girl but for today we are going to try and dive into the more pink tones of this palette so the reason why I have not filmed for a very long time is because I have been doing a lot of shifts at work also we started moving houses like I did I do remember that the last video I filmed was where we are trying to view heaps of flats to move into but at that time it got a little too stressful where to the point that we are almost homeless towards the end where our lease was ending in our old flat there's about four properties that offered so we had a little bit of options so we took the one that is the closest and also the most convenient for all three of us we are slowly trying to get used to things i've pretty much set up our room for the most part but i'm not really quite happy with how everything is so i'm trying to adjust little bits and pieces here and there and kmart is my best friend so as this bring luck because honestly this is one of the best 20 dollar purchase that i've ever had i'm going to revisit this mac pro Longwear foundation oh my goodness i cannot remember when was the last time i have used this foundation i've finished probably five or six bottles of this because this is the only foundation that I wore then and also the only foundation that matches my skin tone the best speaking of skin my skin is doing so much better and I don't have a lot of textures and I don't seem to have heaps of breakout which is really good it's starting to get really dark outside so I'm filming with just the ring light and i really want to see the full potential of this lighting and so far it's pretty good the only downside is that i can't really see what i'm doing because it's on dim it seemed to be working really well i'm not sure if i'm fully blended hopefully i'm just gonna off i mean i'm just gonna opt for really really soft minimal coverage so my youtube is slowly growing and the other day it's funny because i received a comment uh, about how i move my mouth when i talk for some reason that bothers someone one thing i don't get is that people can be so nasty online like you don't go around and say that in person but online you have the balls to say it it's quite immature and also that's online bullying but i don't really care for that that much like the fact that they took the time to leave that comment i don't know about you but you should be spending your time doing something else so i'm going to use this concealer as my primer as well and see how that instantly brightened my eyes and that concealer is the revolution concealer i am going to quickly speed through the base part because you basically have seen me so many times on how i apply my base so we can then move on to the eyes
For the highlight and blush portion of this video, I'm going to use the eyeshadow palette. So I'm going to use the shade Macaroon, which is this one right here. It looks a little bit weird on the pan, but seriously on my face, it looks great. As a blush, it adds like the right neutral beigey tone on my face. And it's really pretty and I think I'm going to mix a little bit of gumdrop just for an added pink but really really tap that and I like to put my blush on top and for highlighter again I'm going to use the palette I think I am going to try and use this shade right here it's a little bit chunky, but it can work as a highlighter. Oh my gosh, that is intense. Ooh -wee. It's starting to get really dark now and the light is getting brighter and brighter. I feel like if I turn it up more, I'm going to be blinded. Like I can't see what I'm doing. But that shade called sugar gives like a really wet highlight which i like and i'm gonna pop a little bit of that on the inner corner because why not so yeah the move is great the house that we are currently staying or moved in it is a lot better the neighborhood is great and it's just amazing quite quiet and I get the view of the mountains plus a little bit of water we get a good view of the sunset and the sunrise for the transition I am going to use vanilla which is this shade right here it's a cool tone muted purple and I'm just gonna pop that all over my eyes it's like a really good way to test this lighting because I really want to share with you guys that you don't need to buy really expensive stuff if you can find alternative go use it now definitely technology has evolved throughout the years because back in the day i remember i watched someone who used to use lampshade as their lighting and i'm going to deepen up using the shade right here the outer v and they just use lampshade and they did great the videos obviously and the video quality is not the best but hey you just have to work with what you have and build from there as soon as you get the following that's when you can upgrade and stuff but if you really like what you're doing just stick with whatever you have The audio of this video is going to be echoey because I don't have any mic at all. I'm just filming with the camera I use to vlog. So it's a point and shoot camera. So I'm just using the built-in camera. I mean built-in mic that it had. And I can't really see properly for the life of me. So I'm just going to drag that along the lower lash line. And yeah, there's not really much to talk about. And recently I got into film photography. Now, I purchased a film. I don't even remember what it's called. But I'll look it up and I will write it in the description down below. But I just bought the cheapest one to test out. And then eventually if I get a hang of the film camera that I purchased, then I could then purchase a more expensive film because i have been watching a lot of reviews online and apparently it's all down to the film that you use once you have a point and shoot you can then be creative and like use different type of films the thing i like about film is that it's a surprise like you really get to test your creativity and then like you don't know what you have until you develop the film which is like a thrill that I kind of miss especially if you grew up in the, 90, in the 90s we didn't have any smartphones we didn't have any like camera phones that we can use to take photos all we had was a film camera and then once you develop it's funny looking at like different photos where there's literally photos where it's overexposed underexposed there's like 
a lot of stuff happening but looking back it kind of reminds you of the time being in that photo well I kind of got sidetracked I was supposed to use the pinks but then I kind of just diverted into my neutral eye makeup look so to make that happen I am going to put a little bit of that purple shade right here actually I'll just use the purple as my lid color then go back to that darker shade that we use to blend everything and I think I want a little bit of pop so I'm going to use sugar and kind of pat that on top and yeah that's basically about this video like I don't have much exciting things planned I'll just quickly apply my mascara and my lipstick and then we're done for the whole video I recently had a lash lift and it's looking pretty good but I kind of get scared to apply mascara because the amount of angle it has that goes really upright is extreme so I'm scared to get it on my lid that's why I apply the mascara very thinly but I kind of like it so for my lipstick of choice I am going to line my lips with the wet and wild lip pencil in the shade I do not know willow back so it's a nice brownie orangey shade and on top of that I am going to apply my favorite lipstick no that's not it I don't want a vampy lipstick I am gonna go for whirl which is this brown toned lipstick this one right here which I think will go best with this eye look Oh my god, it's a lot darker for my liking. I don't think it goes well with the look either. So I'm just gonna quickly lighten it up. I'm going to use this gouache lipstick in the shade 146. And I think that's a lot better. But I really wanted to catch up with you guys, tell you what's happening, a little bit of update. And also I wanted to try out this ring light if it's going to work. Now that it's night time, I could definitely see that this is such a good bargain. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel for more updates. I will come up with new videos so stay tuned i'll catch you on my next video bye